Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts. Before we get into the Chili Brachius Fimbriatus pairing, let me take you over there behind the camera and show you these little dudes. Firstly, we have now got ourselves hands-on a mature male Balfouri, but let's check out what's in that box. So we have several parts. Let me just show you what's in here. Look at that darkening off next bolt. They will be slings. These are all Hattie Hattie slings. Look at these guys. Anyway, let's crack on with today's video. Up on screen is our adult female and just look how beautiful that Fimbriatus is. The amount of webbing she's done coming out of the... She's got about three or four entrances to her burrows. The webbing is absolutely incredible. And in that tarantula room catch tube there, we have got the male who's plonked himself right inside the lid to make it a little bit more awkward for us to get him out. But we shall give it a go and give it a try. But very, very nervous. Not actually paired Chili Brachius before. They can be an absolute handful when pairing from what I've read about and from people I've spoke to. But we shall see how this one goes. So the male is behind the female here. Look, just walking up to her, not even tapping. At this point, I'm thinking, my God, I am sweating so much thinking, please, mate, start tapping. Otherwise, it's going to be game over <laughs> for you. But look, he deals... He does, and he puts his, he climbs on top of her the wrong way, my word. And at this point, I am literally sweating buckets, thinking, how, how am I going to rescue this situation? But thank God, the male kind of realised what he was doing in his position. He's tapping on her carapace there instead of the webbing. But he reverses back to into position and then starts tapping. And my God, my heart rate went down a little bit at this point, I can tell you. So he's just done a couple of little bit of taps. She's not responded. So yeah, I started sweating again, thinking she's just going to turn around, whack him, and it's going to be game over for our little dude. But they kind of stay like this for a little bit longer. In fact, it's around five minutes, so I had to cut that little bit out. But he's tapping there. She turns around really slowly which I think if they turn slowly is an indication to the male to say, look, you know, let's get it on and I'm not going to eat you. But he goes straight in with the hooks there to hold her up and then puts those two of the little arms, look, right around her. I think that is just the cutest moment when you're pairing, look. <laughs> Pushes her bum down as well. <laughs> My word. So she's kind of hiding the furrow away from him, away from him at the moment. Um, and I think that's an insertion there. But uh, I was in two minds whether it was or not because I couldn't really see very well um, holding the camera and kind of looking from the side at the same time. That there, that there, that is certainly an insertion. You can just see his little painted palps going in. And my word, look, did you see that? Did you see that insertion? Absolutely awesome. Now, with the Chili Brachius, I kind of read that these guys can be doing this for a long, long time. And indeed, mine were. They actually were paired up like this for around 30 minutes. So I kind of cut this video down a little bit. I don't think you guys wanted to watch the full 30 minutes. But it's crazy when he makes those insertions and she starts shaking. Absolutely amazing. A little bit like um, when we paired up the uh, Germani all those months ago. The Germani did a little shake as well, which... Um, Seems to be the in thing for the female spiders to do. I don't know if it's on the insertion or he's just tried to insert. She just moved a bump right out of the way. And again, she's shaking, so I'm guessing that's a lock. Boom. Look at that. Oh, you can literally see him. That he, He's actually just feeling around and, and trying to find out where, the, where that furrow is and um, go in for the kill, if you like. But look, so many insertions, absolutely incredible. And as he's inserted at that point, her bum goes up and down. I'm wondering if, if spiders get the same sensation. I know it's controversial, I know it sounds daft, but I wonder if they experience what, what us humans experience at, at that point, you know? I wonder if that's what gives them the will to reproduce again and again. You know, maybe that's what makes that's what gives the 
the male sperm, uh, male sperm, the male spider, an overwhelming feeling to go and pair with the female, even though he's going to be putting himself at risk. But just look how far underneath he goes at this point. And she actually has started showing her fangs a little bit at this point as well. So this is about about 20 minutes in. So I'm a bit like, oh, she, if she keeps getting her fangs out, I am going to have to try and split them up because I don't want this little guy to get munched. Um, I want to put him in again, which I, I actually did, and they paired up exactly the same. Um, but I, I, I thought I really want to take him to Barnsley so he can spread his seed with a couple more females. But look, another insertion. Again, he, she kind of moves her bum around, moves the abdomen around, but she doesn't shake this time. So I'm like, is that a proper insertion or there's the shake? See that? That shake is literally, you know he's inserted at that point. All the other times where she's just moving a bum, I don't think there was a full insertion. Um, but when she shakes, that is when he is... Um, for want for better words, let's say just getting the job done. Uh, <laughs> and another one there, look. Absolutely, oh, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. As you guys know, this last year was kind of my introduction into, into pairing spiders. We've paired a few in the past, but not as many as we, what we've done over the last six months. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, if we get egg sacs, we get babies, happy days, that's a bonus. But this bit is really, really impressive. Really love to see how these guys kind of come together, their behaviours around each other as well. Because how often do you actually see um, two spiders, two tarantulas in the same enclosure, other than with Balfouras? It's just really, really exciting. And again, he's trying, bless him. And I am so worried for him because she's got her legs up and he's got half of himself underneath her and all she has to do is just drop and she is munching him so her fangs actually at this point cut are actually right out so i'm thinking she might have had enough at this point so i am getting ready to try and split them up to be honest but look that little petty pulp in there again and she moves above in front of the camera she don't want to be on only fangs does she but look it's just, it's almost romantic when he wraps his legs around her and pulls her towards him. It's just absolutely incredible. And a few little taps on his legs, on her legs. Just phenomenal. But she has got her fangs fully out and they're near enough dripping with venom. So at this point, I've made the decision to actually split them up. So that's what I'm going to do in a couple of seconds. I'm going to give him another minute and then we're going to go in and, and actually try and try and disturb them and try and split them up because again i want him to survive i want him to go in again i want him to build that second sperm web load himself up and then go back in again so we've got double the chance of a really good egg sack but look at her spinnerets she'd almost cross them so gently maneuvering her legs out the way this isn't doing her any harm literally just slide in the back of the tongs in between them both very very gently he realised what was going on, backed off. I think he probably had the same sense that I was having at this point, is that she looks more to be hungry than actually wanting to carry on with the with the proceedings, let's say. <laughs> but there's the entrance to her burrow. Safely catch, cut, cut, cla uh, I'll get my words out. Sorry, dudes and dudettes. Safely catch cupped him. He actually ran straight up the catch cup this way absolutely beautiful i mean he is absolutely stunning oh my word successful pairing fingers crossed boom so that was the chili brachias fimbriatas i know i know these pairing videos aren't to everybody's tastes but you know it's documenting my journey and um, my experiences and all the rest of it so i do hope that you are all coming along and if you've got to this far of the video thank you guys so so much um, if you're not subscribed hit that subscription button hopefully you guys are all going to the barnsley show this sunday it's going to be absolutely epic last year my word the venue and inside the venue was just absolutely something else it was absolutely spectacular it really really worth the kind of getting up early in the morning the long car journeys and all the rest of it the venue really does speak for itself when you get there the show itself is always amazing i'm going to be doing the um the invert shows uk's video again for this one um me and lee have kind of 
put our heads together so hopefully he will get that one uploaded a lot quicker than what we did the Taunton one but go check out that one over on the Invert Shows um, YouTube channel I'll get my words out in a minute when I um, but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and as always we shall see you again on the next one <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.